Shalom brothers and sisters. Today I'm going to talk to you about the door and specifically two instances where I can show you how the door was used. The first is the name Adam. Adam, reading from right to left, is Aleph, Dalet, Mem. Three letters. Each letter in the Hebrew alphabet has a numerical value. When we add this gematric numerical value up, we come to a total value for the word Adam as 45. Adam's direct translation would be ground or red. Some people say red earth comes from the root word for the ground. Aleph, the first letter in Adam's name, is always connected to God. It is a symbol of a bull and strength and power. The rest of the word dam means blood in Hebrew. And the middle letter on its own, Dalet, is a door. God sculpted Adam from the ground and he made a door through Adam through which he would bring his blood to save mankind. If we look at the name of God revealed to them in the Old Testament, Yahweh, the total value here for the name of God is 26. It is an aspirational name, which you would probably have heard by now. There are no vowels. The act of breathing, when you breathe in and out, you are saying the name of God without choice, without even realizing it. It is on your lips. It is how we are designed. Adonai's consonants were inserted wherever they found the name of God because they believe the name of God is too holy to even pronounce. So wherever they found the name of God, they put Adonai's consonants so that the reader, when he finds it, would see the consonants, remember Adonai, and instead read Adonai. Instead, later generations would combine the two and they would pronounce it Yehovah. It also means, behold the hand, behold the nail, the greatest sacrifice in all creation, the lamb slain from the foundation of the earth, the need of mankind for a savior. Now, if we take the full name value of Yahweh and we write it out, Yot, Hey, Vaf, Hey. And we then take the gematric numeric value of all those words. It gives us exactly 45. 45 in Adam, 45 in Yahweh. It is an image of each other. The Hebrew gematria value of Yahweh and Adam, exactly a mirror image. Genesis 1 verse 27, God created man in his image. Strong's 6754, the word for this verse is Tselem, which is image, likeness, representative figure, or like an idol is created. It is an exact figure, picture of the thing that it is made from. They look alike. Yeshua came as the second Adam. Can you imagine for a second, allow yourself to think, Yeshua bending down, taking the mud, forming man from the ground. Nothing without him, nothing was made that was made without him. He forms Adam from the dust of the ground in his image. And they look alike and he breathes into him and gives him life. So that when Yeshua comes, the devil walking along the road almost has a hernia and falls down because he sees Adam. And he's like, no ways. I've beat you. You're gone. You're dead. What is this? And it's Yeshua, the second Adam, come to conquer and take back that which was taken. Now, if we look at the name of Judah, you will see, looking at the Hebrew, 
It is the name of God. Yot Hey Vaf Hey. And right there in the middle is a Dalet inserted. He was a Hebrew patriarch, fourth son of Jacob and Leah, the most powerful of the twelve tribes of Israel. Genesis 29 verse 35, his mom says, Now will I praise the Lord, and she called his name Yehuda. Judah is the one that interceded for Joseph, that his life was spared, that they didn't kill him, that they just threw him in the pit and sold him off. Joseph was sold for 20 pieces of silver. Jesus was sold for 30 pieces of silver. They were the same in their typology. Joseph was a type of Christ. 20, 30, subtract 7, 20, 23. Judah is the name that God chose for the tribe through which he would come. His name, Yahweh, with a door in it so that his Messiah can enter through and come and save us. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Revelations 5 verse 5. Weep no more. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Genesis 49 verse 8 to 10. Judah, your brother shall praise you. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's sons shall bow down before you. Judah is a lion cub. From the prey, my son, you have gone up. He stooped down. He crouched as a lion. And as a lioness, who dares rouse him? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet until tribute comes to him and to him shall be the obedience of the peoples this will take place shortly in the thousand years when nations will bring tribute from all over to him where he reigns dalet is for door in hebrew i am the door of the sheep the same way they applied the blood to the lintels of their homes their doors in the shape of a Dalet. John 10 verse 7. Then Jesus said to them again, Most assuredly I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. I am is the name of God. God is the door of the sheep. Yeshua. Yeshua is the door. He is the door in Adam. Coming through man. To shed his blood for our sins. He is the door in Judah. Coming through that line. To reign and rule in victory. He is the door to life. In the midst of darkness. And the darkness does not overcome it. Use the door while you can. Turn to Jesus Christ. He has paid the price. He loves you. You need only come home. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.